Hey guys, Shannon Smith here, national champion, professional shooter with Universal Shooting Academy. Uh, one of the things we always get asked in our classes is movement, footwork. Kind of our standing joke is every time you ask somebody what they want to learn in a class, it's shooting on the move and shooting swingers. So all that stuff is very important, but not if you don't know how to hit the target once you get there. And so our specialty out here is really teaching you how to shoot, uh, how to shoot fast and accurately, working the gun to the highest of its potential. Uh, however, we also do certainly work on movement techniques and the quickest way in and out of positions. Uh, so a couple things we're going to work on today. I'm going to show you two movement techniques that you would use in a given USPSA or action pistol stage. We have a stage here left over from the uh, Florida Open that we just had a couple months ago. So I'm just going to use the, the first piece of this stage because it kind of shows you both movement techniques kind of wrapped up in one. So let's give it a go. All right, so the first, the first movement technique we're going to talk about is a split start. This can be used in a couple different scenarios. Uh, if you have your heels against the marks, for example, in a starting position, might be a way I would use it. Or in this scenario, uh, we have a, a shooting position against the edge of the fault line here. We have some cover uh, by our wall we have to shoot around. And the most important part of this, of using this technique now, and the reason is there's a partial, partial target with a penalty target at about 12 yards or so. So that's a tough shot. Uh, the important part about that is you're not going to be rolling out or leaning out or falling out on that, on that shot. You basically need to be flat-footed, good stance, uh, allowing yourself to get some good sight picture and, good trigger, and good trigger squeeze to make that shot. Well, then the problem becomes if I'm standing flat-footed making a good shot, how do I get my, my butt out of position to take off forward, to, towards the next position? And that's where we use what we call the split start. So in this scenario, you can start wherever you want in the, in the beginning of the stage. So I'm going to set myself up. So my foot's on top of the fault line, which is legal in the, in the sport. So I'm in position to make the shot on the target. So in terms of making the shot, there's nothing tricky to it. Stand there, watch your sights, work the trigger, and make the shot. Getting out of position is what we're kind of working on today. So I'm going to stand, do my draw, make my two shots. You'll kind of see I'm leaning out of position to get around the piece of cover. Once my second shot is done, I'm basically going to lift both feet in the air, landing with my center of gravity low, and then push off in the direction of travel. The important thing is I'm not jumping. I'm just lifting my feet and then landing. So kind of slow-mo, it would look like this. So my draw, first target, second target, and push off in the direction of travel. So nothing to overthink, but it's about the efficiency of movement and economy of motion is going to make you fast. So again, a little faster, just dry fire now. Draw, first target, second target, draw, or ju jump, land and take off. Try one more kind of more full speed. First target, second target. Take off nice and powerful to your next position. The second technique we're going to work on today is more of a flow through technique. And in this case, as most, the, the movement technique that we're using is governed by the targets that we're trying to shoot from that position. So in this case, we have three wide open targets at pretty, at pretty ridiculously close range. Uh, Got to be shot from within the confines of the shooting area, which is our red fault lines, and getting around the wall. So there's one, the tightest target in here does pose a little bit of a challenge in your positioning. Because for example, I can't see it from here. I have to be deep in the corner to see it. I'm coming from that direction and moving in this direction. So it's kind of flowing around the corner. So what we're looking for here is coming from, in this scenario, not very far away, but even if it was 20 yards away, I want to start slowing down and begin my engagement pretty much as soon as I can see the target. And what I'm looking for is to time that, time that corner so right when I'm deepest into the position, I'm now ready to engage the third target. At the same time, I'm loaded up on my outside foot, my leg is sprung, ready to push myself out. You don't want to be stuck there standing flat-footed like we were in the other position because of, the, because of the technique used. Easy targets, we're trying to get in there, get that shooting done and timed perfectly, and then power ourselves out of position. I'll come charging right about here. I'll start to slow down in my shooting on the move position, start engaging the targets. One, two, three, four as I load up, five, six, and power out of position. That's what we're looking for all together. And again, it's about getting the timing down. I don't want to start shooting that target from too far away because then I'm going to be done shooting at nothing to do but seven yards still to gain. So I'm going to use my power and my sprint until I, I get the timing about right. 
then start that slow down shooting on the move position and work on the timing load up and push out right at the time I'm engaging that last target. So coming in, one, two, three, four, five, six, power out of position, moving on down to our next position. Uh, again, it's always governed by the targets that we're looking at, economy of motion, smooth in, smooth out, all while not forgetting the fundamentals of marksmanship, side picture, trigger squeeze. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. We showed you a couple different movement techniques there. We had the, the split start over on this side and more of a dynamic kind of flow through over there. So try them out for yourself, or better yet, come out here and jump into class at Universal Shooting Academy. You can check out more information at our website, universalshootingacademy.com. Thanks, and see you on the range.